Hey guys, in this problem we have a baseball pitcher catching a ball, and the problem asks for to find the average force applied by the ball on the glove. This is kind of an interesting problem, actually, because according to Newton's second law, the formula for force is equal to the mass times the acceleration of whatever it is we're looking at. In this case, we're looking at a glove, but the problem doesn't actually give us any information about the glove's mass or its acceleration. So to solve this problem, we can't just use Newton's second law, we also have to use Newton's third law. Because al although we aren't given much information about the glove, we are given a lot of information about the ball. And what's useful is that Newton's third law tells us that if one object exerts a force on another object, then the second object exerts a force of the same magnitude on the first object. So if we can figure out the if we can figure out the average force that the ball is experiencing, then the average force that the glove experiences is the exact same number, just in the opposite direction. And we are given the mass of the ball, and we're given information about the ball's acceleration. So let's work through the ball first. Let's figure out the ball's acceleration. So for the ball, we're given how far the ball travels. It recoils 11 centimeters. The ball's initial speed is 35 meters per second. So we have the ball's initial speed. And the final speed is zero because we're assuming it, excel it decelerates to no speed once it's caught. So we have initial and final velocity, we have displacement, and we're looking for acceleration. So going back to our kinematics equations, it looks like the best formula to use in this case is the V squared formula, which states that V squared equals V naught squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the displacement. So we want to take this formula and rewrite it to solve for acceleration. So this is a pretty easy bit of algebra here. We subtract and we, we subtract v naught squared from both sides of the equation. So v squared minus v naught squared. And then we divide 2 delta x by both sides. Or we, do, we divide both sides of the equation by 2 delta x. So divide by 2 delta x. So this is our formula now for the average acceleration. We just need to plug in the variables that we have in the problem. So the initial speed, or the final speed is 0 minus the squared initial speed of 35 meters per second squared, and then all divided by 2 times the distance it travels through, which is 11 centimeters, or 0.11 meters. So we put this into a calculator, and we find an average acceleration of about negative 5,568 meters per second squared. So now that we have the average acceleration, now we can put that into our force equation to find the force from the ball. This is equal to the mass of the ball, or 0 0.140 kilograms, multiplied by the average acceleration of negative 5568 meters per second squared. Put this into a calculator, and we find an average force of about negative 780 newtons. So this is the average force that the glove exerts on the ball. But the problem is asking for the opposite. The problem is asking for the force applied by the ball on the glove. But as we discussed earlier, because of Newton's third law, it's going to be the exact same magnitude, just with the opposite direction. So it is 780 newtons in the direction of the ball. So 780 newtons in the direction, in the direction of the ball. Except I guess the ball slows down. So I'll instead say the direction of the ball's initial velocity. And so that is our answer to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe or tell all your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. And if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.